What's up, boopers? It's V-Day, as in Valencia Day. Included in this video weekly will be the Valencia preparation video that I never made, part two. So I'll let you know everything you needed to know about Valencia as it's coming out today. So first, let me bust out my trusty Valencia map. <clears throat> so here we go. Here's the area that's being added to the world. Now it may look like a bunch of yellow shit, but we're gonna talk about point of interests and all that stuff. Now first let's start with the obvious announcements. Everyone's gonna be rushing to plus 18 the moment the servers go up. If you haven't figured out what you need to do to get above plus 15 when the servers go up yet, go watch my enchanting video. The YouTube release has said that we'll get whale hunting as well with the patch, so just be aware there's going to be a chance we get big whales swimming around in the ocean that you can hunt to try and get the materials for whale earrings and other stuff. Now whale earrings are preferred over witches earrings because they grant HP as well as the same AP as witches earrings. So yeah, I'm not going to promise they'll be there though because they announced a bunch of stuff with the media patch that didn't actually show up till a few weeks later. Oh, also, black market vendor is likely not in as well. Alright, alright, so let's check out the map of Valencia that we got here. First things first, here's your towns of Valencia circled in blue. And the thing to note is that you can exchange horses for camel tokens at any stables, but you can only exchange the tokens for a camel at Stable Masters in Valencia. Next, let's look at the desert, the Black Desert. This giant area here follows some different rules than the rest of BDO. In the desert during the day, you must drink purified water in order to prevent a debuff called heat stroke, which will drain your health over time and lasts 10 minutes, even if you leave the desert. This debuff damage can be reduced with the cash shop desert fox that will get laser, but you're better off avoiding the debuff altogether. Purified water is extremely easy to get. Just buy a bottle from a material vendor, then go to a river and collect water. The most common place to do this is just in northern Altanova. Just gather the water, then use thinning on it, and bam, purified water, no more heat stroke. It's a bit different if you go into the desert at night. Instead, you will need something called octagonal tea. It's a bit more annoying to get, and the night is only 45 minutes, so you can avoid going in the desert at night usually, but if the world boss ever spawns at night, you'll want to make sure you have some of these. Otherwise, you'll get hypothermia debuff that kills you just like heat stroke. Octagonal tea is made by using simple cooking and combining purified water with an octagonal flower. Octagonal flowers can be gathered using workers here at Shekatu Farm, or you can go there and manually gather some yourself. Another danger of traveling in the desert are sandstorms. They deal damage as you walk through them. You can protect yourself from them by using a tent purchasable from any stable hand in Valencia. So basically make sure you never go into the desert without a tent, some tea, and some purified water on hand, or you will regret it, you'll probably die. Camels are also not very fast, but they move faster than a horse would in the desert. And lastly, your map will be completely disabled in the desert and you will be unable to see your location or set auto paths, etc. In later patches of KR BDO, they added a compass that you could farm here at this location. If you collected three pieces of it, you could make a compass that would show your location in the desert, but no autopaths, and no guarantee it'll exist in the lawns of Valencia in our version. Alright, so that's the gist of the desert. So why traverse it? It is much easier to travel to Valencia directly through the desert. There are hidden dungeons in the desert in later patches, and there will also be a world boss introduced in the desert that can spawn in these three locations. Unlike Kazarka, this world boss announces his spawn about 30 minutes or maybe 15, we don't know yet, prior, and you can see which location he will spawn at if you visit all three locations and look for dark storm clouds in the sky. Once he does spawn there and you kill him, he will drop an offhand equivalent to Kazarka, basically the best offhand in the game, called Nuver in the Korean version. But yeah, don't expect him around tomorrow or at the launch of Valencia. He might be there, but don't get your hopes up. So aside from tons of new trade routes and areas to discover and a continued very interesting Black Spirit quest line that updates his looks and rewards you a guaranteed ring that grants 7 AP and 25 max HP or whatever, you can choose from actually a couple different versions of the ring if you complete the quest line. So I recommend one of the first things you do in Valencia is to complete your main story quest because if you are using Marco Shadow Pry or less, this ring is way better. 
You'll also get a new Black Spirit Crystal that grants 150 HP for completing the quest chain instead of just 100, which is particularly good if you broke your original Black Spirit Crystal already anyway. So lastly though, the hardcore PvPers and PvEers want to ask, Yo Haku, where do I grind and where's the best loot drop? I got you covered fam. Let's take a look at mob locations and their new rare drops. First I want to preface this information with saying that you should not try to grind Valencia unless you are above level 55 and you have above 200 DP and 160 AP. If you do try to grind these mobs, you will have a very bad time with low stats. And grinding in the desert is a time commitment. It's quite a travel away from the rest of the world. If you don't have a fast horse or camel, it should be your priority, as Valencia is huge and makes travel times significantly longer and should be something you will really need to consider when you decide to go somewhere in Valencia. So first let's talk about Desert Catfish aka Tidium Valley. They're actually called Fogans, but everyone calls them Desert Catfish for some reason? I don't know why. This is a very ideal grind spot for XP and money with some contribution dailies in the area as well. Its location is not the best, but it gives a really good XP and it's kind of the easiest place to grind in the Valencia region. This is where you go after Saucens, more or less. Next, Crescent Shrine. Grinding here, you will have a chance to get a drop called a Soiled Crescent Ring, which has a chance to contain a Ring of the Crescent Guardian. You may get some ogre ring PTSD from this, but good news, grinding at the Crescent Guardian Shrine also rewards some money and XP, so it's not so depressing as ogre ring farming. You'll notice that this ring only has plus 5 AP, so why is it best in slot? Because unlike Mark of Shadow, it goes up by 3 AP per enchant instead of 2, and the quest ring that I mentioned will not be enchantable. Now if you don't want AP, and instead you want the ring of the Kadri Guardian, 5 DP and plus 25 HP and plus 25 mana or work points or spirit, whatever class you are, with increased plus 3 DP and plus 15 per enchant, you're going to want to be farming here at the Kadri Shrine. For belts, the AP belt for Valencia is Basilisk's belt. Now this belt is not better than Tree Spirit when it is unenchanted because it does not grant accuracy. But like the others we just mentioned, it scales plus 3 AP per enchant instead of plus 2. So once at duo level or higher, it will far outscale the tree spirit belt. It only starts with 5 AP though and 80 carry white, and it drops around this area. Then lastly, we've got the Centaur's belt, the DP version of Basilisk's belt with plus 5 DP and 80 carry limit. It scales the same way with plus 3 per enchant and also drops the same way as the others but off the centaurs which you can find here. So that's where you'll be wanting to grind for new accessories or XP and the new armor and weapons will likely drop everywhere. I do note that the new Rosar secondary weapons are very good for PvP until the Nuva Dagger comes out. They have two sockets, ignore all resistances by 10% and grant evasion with enchants, but low base AP and DP. Another okay spot to grind for XP and money are the bandits spread out around these areas, but they hit pretty damn hard so I wouldn't bother unless you are full plus 18 and level 58ish. And the last little thing I should mention is that we will likely have elephants released into the game with the launch, though guild houses may not be in. Basically meaning you'll need to own a guild house and put points into your guild skills to allow to raise elephants, but even without this, you'll initially still be able to capture baby elephants and hold on to them until you can raise them. I'll try to get a nice tutorial on that once the server launches as it is much easier to show you guys how to do some of this stuff with a visual aid. But yeah, with this, you should be informed on the locations of most things with Valencia's launch, so you don't get completely and totally lost. I left out quite a few stuff, so if you can think of anything important people need to know, just put it in the comments section below. And before we leave, we can't forget to talk about Screenshot of the Week. So thanks again for submitting guys. First we've got Jake from Croxus. The reason I like this picture is because it is taken by the Berserker, not the Tamer in the focus. Then we've got Idalia again with this really cool pose with her hawk. And lastly, we've got Bartlell doing the power slam with his buddy Hotstroff with a cool action pose. And of course, I have to show my guild loser for imposing after winning Calfion, submitted by guildy Sarah moments before we decided to change our guild icon to Trump. 
because apparently our new guild motto is to make Calpheon great again. I apologize to all the Calpheon our peers who had their immersion ruined during this time. But anyway, keep sending in your screenshots. Have fun with Valencia. I am booping out. Boop.